whenever you are trying to answer a question uh, in net examination or most common in a uh, competitive examination there will be four types of questions there will be four types of question the first type of question is that uh, when we are looking at the wording of the question the question itself an answer will be coming to our mind at that time immediately and that that type of questions will be very easy or for example a question like grapevine communication is a type of the question if the question is like this the answer will be coming as informal communication it will come immediately to our mind and these types of questions we can answer these questions very immediately in a positive manner and these questions are positive to us and second question we are reading the question we are given a question and we are reading the question but we are not getting at the answer while uh, immediately at the uh, after the reading of the question but uh, when we are looking at the options we can see the right options option in the uh, given options so uh, we can just answer uh, we can just give the right answer there okay by looking at the options okay these type of questions are also positive to us so that uh, second type of questions are coming like this uh, we know we don't know the answers immediately but we can get the answers from the options okay and there will be a third type of question that is when we are reading the uh, question the question is not coming to our mind and when we are looking at the uh, options at a glance we are the answer is not coming but uh, there will be four options when we are comparing the options each other we will be getting an answer we can exclude some options option a this will this will not come as answer option c this will not come as answer option d this will not come as answer so the most probable answer will be b so in in such a manner we can answer okay and in such a manner when we are answering uh, we will be getting the positive answer or we will be getting the right answer and this type of question or the third type of question is also positive to us so uh, and the fourth type of question uh, is a question when we read the question itself the answer is not coming to our mind when we look when we look at the options the answer is not coming to our mind and when we analyze when we compare the question uh, options to each other the answer still not coming into our mind so one and only thing we have to do at that place is nothing but the similar same process we are doing doing in every uh, competitive ex exam especially in net exam that we something we can call as round hitting or uh, what we can call as uh, what we can call as i don't know exact word for that <laughs> we, we will be guessing okay we will be guessing and according to our fortune the it will be it may or may not be the right answer okay and look at here uh, it is not that much positive to us for the fourth type of question and among the four types of question all the three questions are positive to us okay and this is the important aspect of the uh, type of questioning answer answering to questions and this aspect will make us motivated towards making the questions making the answers for every questions and i am saying that UGC, uh, what we call as getting a UGC net or JRF is not a Herculean task. Okay, it is not a million dollar thing. I am saying this because I uh, cracked JRF, I cracked net in another subject because I understood uh, the pattern of the question, pattern of the answering. There is an exact answering style in every competitive examination. You will be, you will be aware of that because you will be uh, participating in different competitive examinations. So understanding the question answering style is an important thing in every competitive examination, especially in UGC net examination. And for attending this UGC net examination, uh, especially for the paper one, the practice of previous questions is that much important and also uh, one more thing you have to remember is that uh, before making your UGC net examination try to attend another types of competitive examinations such as we have SSC, CDL, CHL, some type of uh, competitive examinations like that or we will be having some PSEs 
and uh, the important thing we will be getting from all these types of competitive examiners that we will be getting an answering style we will be getting an, a comprehension uh, skill of the question answering skill uh, from these all these examinations and it will be it will act as a what we call uh, training okay so try to participate maximum uh, competitive examination and also do uh, repeated questions previous questions of the ugc net itself this is an important strategy strategy you should adopt regarding this what we call as uh, your net net exam preparation